Oh, very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, if you remember the last video, I had talked about installing Linux using a remote machines in the text mode using the telnet. So, as promised, I am here in the next video. In this video, I am going to show you how to do the installation of a Linux machine or a RHEL machine from a remote machine using the GUI. But before we jump onto that video and onto the technical stuff, I found this on the internet and I found it very good, very motivating. So I like to share it with it with all of you. Look, I never thought of this, that what is the difference between motivation and discipline. And the picture has summed up in a very beautiful manner. Motivation is doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done when we want to do it My, means i want to do it and discipline is doing what needs to be done when it needs to be done when we don't want to do it i'll just exp uh, i uh, i found it very good and i can correlate it with myself that i don't want to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and hit the gym but i'm motivated in the night that I should be going to the gym, I should be going to the gym and Alok, you need to wake up at 5 o'clock. But at 5 o'clock in the morning, my body refuses. My body says, I don't want to wake up. But that is, discipline comes out there that no, even though I don't want to use it, I still have to do this. And I wake up at 5 o'clock, I hit the gym. I hope many of you guys are hitting the gym, doing the exercises and keeping yourself fit please though it is a technical channel don't ab abuse your body we don't have spare parts for the body so please love your bodies and do some exercises hit the gym and be motivated and in the morning you have to be motivated in the night when you are going to, to uh, in the bed and you need to be very disciplined when your alarms rings up at five o'clock in the morning so the life is all about motivation and discipline and uh, though i don't want to like uh, it's slightly embarrassing for uh, for me but okay i'll share you one pick it's a recent pick of mine that shows the result of motivation and discipline here it is it's me and this is the result of motivation and discipline you can see it and I am 40 I am 40 years that's good yes so apart from the motivation and discipline let's come on to the technical things now as I had promised you in this video I'm going to show you how to do a fresh installation on the red machine the machine with the color of red and but the installation will be controlled by the admin machine in the blue color so this is the admin with the VNC installed. So what need to be done is that I just need to install the VNC first on the machine, which is going to control the installation of the red machine or the fresh machine. So on the fresh machine, the installation will be controlled from the blue machine via VNC in the GUI mode and the admin machine or your machine where you are working or it's your laptop or whatever. It should have the only one requirement that it should have the VNC installed. And the red machine while installation will be transferring the whole GUI to the blue machine using the VNC as depicted or I had illustrated in this beautiful picture. So what need to be done on the red machine and what need to be done on the view on the blue machine on the red on the blue machine as I told you you just need to do the make sure that the VNC is installed and just give this command VNC viewer hyphen listen. So means the blue machine is ready to listen any VNC connection that is thrown to him. And what need to be done on the red machine? Nothing. At the boot prompt, while it doesn't matter whether you are installing it from CD or DVD or PXC, whatever. At the boot, at the boot prompt, just give Linux VNC. That means I am activating the VNC, VNC service. VNC connect. Okay, wait. there is a spelling error. It 
need to be V and C connect. The C need to become twice V and C and then connect is equal to IP address of the blue machine colon port 5500. As you must be aware that the VNC by default is listening on 5500. So j just for the simplicity of this video, I'm not going to change the port right now. So let's do the things. I hope you got the point. The red machine is the fresh machine on which I'm going to give this command. And the blue machine is my already installed machine with the VNC already installed and will be listening on the VNC connections. So let's do this and for the lab I have got my trusted VMs here. It's my storage. It's my blue machine. So I'll just log in here. That's great. So if I show you there. Sorry. Or it's Tiger VNC. I can give like this or I'll just do a you you need to do this yum install VNC because I had already installed the package so it is giving me that the package is already installed that's great so on the blue machine first go to the blue machine and just give VNC viewer hyphen listen that's it that's need to be done on the blue machine that's the blue machine it is the my admin machine press enter here now it is listening on port 5500 but because no connection is, is being thrown to him so it's still listening now I go back to my VM just a moment that's that's good that makes sense here it is now it is my test machine so it's a new VM I had just created if you remember the last video I had used the same machine I click on st start here because it's a fresh machine the installation will be started here it is so you will get the same screen whether you are installing it from CD DVD PXC or whatever just press a tab here because I'm going to give the command I give here Linux VNC sorry and then VNC connect okay one more thing I go back here I just do a control C here what's the IP address IP address of this machine is 50 192.168.0.50 that's it so you should be knowing the IP address of the admin machine the IP is, is 50 now I give the command again it is listening on that particular port here I am I give VNC Linux VNC VNC connect it look here I've got two C's here 192.168.0.50 colon 5500 this is what I had shown you in the pic here it is fine I press enter here means it means I am starting the installation with the VNC and VNC will be connected from this IP address so that actually makes my installation or my communication very much secure because when I am specifying the IP address of my blue machine it means no any not anyone can connect to the VN to the VNC the red machine or the fresh machine will be throwing the VNC connection only to this IP address press enter here just wait okay I'll open my blue machine here just do it I'll just minimize this here it is so here is my blue machine and here is my red machine let's see that's good it's moving further still it is li only listening the VNC is not VNC on the red machine has not thrown the control to the blue machine I make a skip here just wait you need to be slightly patience here though it won't take much of your time here it always takes time here it is now the anaconda is being running and controlling the installations as per my command the kernel parameter that I had defined it's saying wait so we are waiting no no issues sir 
we don't have any other option we have to wait so just couple of seconds or it won't take much time look here here it is starting vnc and here comes the control look attempt to connect vnc client on this connected starting graphical installation now if i just click here i'll do it slightly here because i won't be needing it much because it has already thrown the everything on my blue machine just wait friends you'll see the beauty of doing a remote installations in a gui manner as promised in the last video so look things are very easy what you here it is that's great so you look the beauty of, of this is that you are doing the installation of the red machine which is on my right hand side and you are controlling it from the machine which is on my left hand side that's great that's really good click next here now you are doing the installation in a GUI manner. Next. And I hope all of you knows how to do the installation. So in this video, for the sake of the length of the video, I am not going to finish the installation. I will just show you some couple of things. And you, you just now, what is required from your side is that just keep on following the wizard. That's it. I do the basic storage. I will just go up till the hard disk section. That's it. I've, I won't go beyond that. How to partition that hard disk because af after then it's all your cup of tea examining the storage reinitialize because i'm going to format everything checking the hard disk anything say i give test or any machine name you wish to specify not rest <laughs> test on Linux next choose your time zone not I'm not in Asia Kolkata or your specific time zones choose your passwords next I know it's a weak password and if you wish you can do a custom layout because if you want to create your own partition that is always recommended now feel free to create your partitions and do whatever so i'm just stopping the video right here i i hope you got the point how to get the the gui of a remote machine on your machine and do the rest of the installations from your seat no need to move there so i hope you like the video and you like the very small thing though it's a very small thing but it can be very useful and always remember friends the motivation and discipline thank you friends thank you once again god bless take care bye so i'm stopping the video now